Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As always, Studio 516 here, and today's video is actually something a little special because I got something before the release date. I didn't get it as a sponsor or whatever. No, Arrow, it's an Arrow video title. Arrow didn't send me anything. There's a store I want to give a shout out, uh, Forbidden Planet in New York City. They carry some of their titles. They carry most Arrow video titles. And they carry Vinegar Syndrome, Scream Factories, Kino Lorber. They carry a bunch of titles, like uh, boutique labels. But um, they had these two bad boys in store. And that's the Gamera set, box sets. Um, I missed out on the big box set. Even though I had it pre-ordered, they canceled it on me. They didn't even cancel it. I ordered it through Amazon, and Amazon just said out of stock, and we'll email you when it's back in stock. And that was for, like, three months, and I was like, I guess I'm not getting it. So we canceled the pre-order, and I knew these were coming out, I think, two weeks from now, or a week from now. I think it's the 26th of January. And, um... They had them in stock. I paid um, about what they're going for on Amazon, but I got them early, so that was cool. I didn't have to worry about any damage because I had them in person. So I'm gonna semi unbox these. Uh, they're two separate ones that when you put them together, they they connect. Uh, I'm gonna do like a semi quick unboxing and I'm gonna give you my thoughts because last night I watched the first Gamera and uh, let you know how the transfer is in my opinion just on the first disc and all that so we're gonna put this up here and we'll get into the first box set with uh gamera i'll, I'll read off the tile titles right now gamera the giant monster gamera versus baragon gamera versus gaios gamera versus virus 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 it's virus spelt with an A instead of a U. Gamera versus Guron, Gamera versus Jiger, Gamera versus Zegra, and Gamera Super Monster. That's all on this one. These two sets make up the one set that came out. It just you don't get the big comic book or um, the giant set. You get smaller sets. What? In reality, yes, I, I want the other set. I'm mad I didn't get it. At this point, it's never going to happen. On eBay, they're going for like $500. Unless they re-release it, but I, I, I'm content with what I got in these. Um, but I, I'm glad to have them, and I kind of prefer this, because I don't have room for the big cases anymore, especially now that I moved. There's not really box set room in this apartment, and that's fine, because... I really don't need the box sets all that much, but we're gonna get into it. It's a nice hardcover box like Arrow does. And uh, let's see, uh, here's the first one. I'm not gonna do all the back art, uh, reversible art. There is reversible art on all of them, uh, but to stand here and do it, I'll, I'll end up dropping everything and breaking it. And the last case. Um, the first one has the first movie on it, and the rest have uh, two movies, two movies, and three movies. So it, they are stacked onto one disc, but I, I don't know if that's going to affect the picture quality of the later films, but uh, that is how it is. And that was the Showa era box set of Gamera. And then getting into the Heisei era. That's how you say it. Heisei era of Gamera. Uh, there's another four disc set. And this one has the films Gamera, the Guardian of the Universe, Gamera 2, Attack of Legion, Gamera 3, Revenge of Iris, and Gamera the Brave. And it's another hard box set. Put that back behind me. And we got here Gamera, the Guardian of the Universe. These are one per disc because there's only four in this uh, set. So we got Attack of Legion, Revenge of Iris, 
and Kamara the Brave in that one. What, it's kind of funny to me, like, I know what they're doing here, the Heisei era, the show era. It's funny to me, though, that this has four movies. That has, I believe, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight movies. Double the movies, they're the same price. So, that confuses me a little bit. But now to get into the transfers on them. From what I saw of the first one, and I put the second one in just to look at it, and it looked pretty damn good, to be honest. The transfers are great. If you don't like grain, don't get it. Because they're, they're very old, they need the grain, and I feel like the grain is added to the experience. Made me feel like I was watching an old film, but the picture quality was phenomenal for that old film. Um... It was my first time watching Gamera, the first one. I think I've seen a few throughout the years, but it's it's all a blur to me. It, if I've seen any, it was years ago. I will say I did have an issue with the sound on my discs. It wasn't the disc. I figured it out after like 40 minutes of trying to watch this movie. I was like, is the first one silent? Like, is it a silent film? Questioning the whole time, looking it up online, seeing if anyone else had the issue. Couldn't find any mention of sound problems or no sound at all coming from the arrow disc. So finally, I'm sitting there, I'm looking through it, and I was like, let me take the movie and go into the bedroom. And the thing works fine. So then I figured out, okay, it's either the TV or the sound bar. And I'm sitting there, and I have to mention, at the beginning of the disc, when you put it in, Arrow's logo comes up and music plays. So I was like, all right, it works there. The commentary track worked, just the movie soundtrack, like the Japanese and the English one wouldn't work. So now I'm getting annoyed, frustrated, go into my settings on my TV and I have um, I have an LG OLED C9 TV, not the greatest TV ever, but one of the top of the line in my opinion. And I'm, I'm in settings, can't figure it out. Finally, I turned Dolby Atmos off. And it works. What? That's great. Yeah, it works because it's a mono track. It doesn't have the Dolby. But to me, it shouldn't. I, I don't know if this is just me being in pain. The TV shouldn't not play the sound for stuff that's not Dolby while I have Dolby activated. So finally, we get to sit down and watch it. And that's great. But like I pointed out to Sam, I'm like, so now every time I want to watch one of these, I have to turn my Dolby Atmos off. And if I forget, I'm going to have to do this issue of trying to figure out what's going on again. So I don't know. Maybe I don't need the Dolby setting on the TV. Like maybe when I'm watching Dolby Atmos movies, it will just play Dolby Atmos. But it was a little annoying. After getting it on and watching, I will say the sound was a little disappointing. I expected to at least have an upgraded sound. Like I know, like maybe they tried staying with the mono track because they wanted to keep it as close to the original as possible. But like, I would have at least liked maybe a five point one because the sound was very, very disappointing compared to the picture quality. So if I had a rate picture quality and sound, the picture quality I would put as like an eight and a half. Because there is a lot of grain, it's heavy grain, but I do think the grain is needed. So an eight and a half, maybe a nine, a nine for the picture quality. The sound, I would give like a five or a four. Because it was just so disappointing in the grand scheme of things to watch a movie and be like, wow, look at this transfer. And then the sound to just be so subpar compared to it. Maybe some of you prefer the movie as it is and with the sound as it was. But to me, like I had to have my TV up to like 45, 50. And I usually have it on like 30. So that, that was a little bit of a bummer for me. I thought the sound would be better. But all around, the packaging is phenomenal. I'm so happy to own these. And I'm so glad to have them early. Um... On the special features, there is some special features on each disc. I'm going to get this as close as possible. If you want to read, pause. Hopefully you can see that. And here's the top of the box. Here's the spine. 
and there's all the movies, and that was the Heisei era, and this is the Shower era box. Here's the top of the box, the side of the box, and again, the back. I'm going to try to go as close as I can. Hopefully you can read that. But all around, I'm very happy to own these. I hope this video helped at all. I hope this was an entertaining video. I wanted to make sure to get this out because I never get things early. Like, I'm never someone to get things in early. I don't have people sending me stuff from studios. Though I am definitely up for it if anyone from a studio is watching and wants to send anything. If one day I could, that would be amazing because... I do spend a lot of money on this stuff, so if anyone could help out, yeah, that'd be great. Um, but I bought that with my own money, and my real review of it, no influence from anyone. I think it was a great thing. Check out Forbidden Planet if you're in the New York area. The guy in there was really helpful with this, because I wasn't going to buy it, because I didn't want to... I thought maybe this didn't have everything that the original set had. And the guy went online and he checked for me. The owner, I'm I'm pretty sure he was the owner. He he collects, so he knew what I needed to know. And he went online, found it all. There's some vinegar syndrome stuff. I picked up some more stuff that's over there for another update at some point. I was going to vlog, never did. So uh, hopefully this video helped. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the Arrow set. And I'll see you guys next time. As always, like the video, subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you guys next time.